Hi, today we are going to cover relations and directed graph, and this is uh, the first part of that. And before that, I'm going to review uh, last uh, topic, regular expressions. So there are a bunch of uh, set of strings uh, that satisfy special property are called languages. Um, this is, these are the examples here. And we can use regular expression to match some uh, special strings, special languages. And the regular expressions are uh, defined over alphabet set and it is it used a recursive definition. So basis is about empty set and empty string. It's our regular expressions. And another A, which is a character from alphabet set, is a regular expression as well. And uh, we can use a recursive step uh, with two uh, regular expressions. Uh, we can use a union and just simple combination a and b and a star so epsilon the um, uh, matches the empty string the character matches the one character string a uh, a union b matches all string that either a matches or b matches and a b matches all string that have first part that matches a matches uh, followed by a second part that b matches a star is uh, a little bit special, uh, which matches all strings that have any number of strings that A matches. So one after another, uh, or zero. Yeah, so we can use this kind of pattern matching uh, with uh, regular expression. So this is an example. We have zero, zero, one star. Always this star will just last element. Okay, so we can have 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and when we can have many ones after 2, 0. So if you have 1, uh, 0 star, 1 star, that means no, any number of 0 followed by any number of 1. So Zero is available, one is also available, one zero, one uh, zero zero, one zero zero, one one, or any other. But this kind of thing is not available. So this pattern gives you this. And this is about all binary strings. So we can have any number of zero, any number of one, and then a number of that combination. So it can cover all binary strings. So this is uh, another pattern matching, uh, zero or one. And inside of that has this special binary string and another binary string again. So this is for the any binary string that has this part. So we can have one more thing here. We have these two uh, pairs, and then we can get these two, one of them inside of this, and again, binary after that. So the regular expression is quite useful we can use to, to define some token for like uh, regular binary names uh, keyword in program language and pro compilers. And we can use this in our graph. That is a kind of pattern matching program in Unix and Linux. Also, we can use this kind of pattern matching in PHP. And also, we can use this uh, regular expression to find some special pattern in your uh, code using uh, um, any kind of uh, modern editor, and even uh, VRE and Emacs or this kind of the old one also support that. 
and we can try to use uh, uh, we can use uh, this in Python as well. Uh, you need uh, RV package. Uh, you have to import that before using it, and you can compile the regular expression pattern with this function. Then match your string uh, using this, and so you can get your result in this uh, variable. And there are several uh, special pattern. Uh, not this. Uh, these these are related to this. So these uh, first two are same to the previous uh, definition, and star is definitely same. But we have two more, question mark and plus that has zero or one for the question mark, uh, one or more for the uh, plus sign, and we can define them with like this. And this is an uh, example for the general form of uh, decimal number. We can match those things. And we have uh, more examples here. So the first one, all, bin all binary string that have an even number of one. For that, we have this part. It has Two one and I don't know there will be how many zeros inside of this uh, that is a random number and we can repeat this pattern many times that's why we can cover any kind of binary string that has even number of one so this one or binary string that don't contain this. One zero one. So we to avoid this, we can make uh, another pattern here. One. So in this case, before one we have zeros. Uh, after one we have zeros. So that's why we cannot have this one or one pattern. And we, uh, there is only and another thing inside of these we can have two zero then more zeros after that. That means we cannot have one zero between one and one. So that's why we can have uh, any binary string without this pattern inside. So we have seen these uh, regular expressions uh, that is useful, but uh, it also has some limitations. So, not all languages can be specified by regular expression. Yeah, because uh, language, uh, particular language is quite complex. So we can do some easy thing like a palindrome uh, string with equal number of zero, equal number of one. And we can also use this uh, a little bit complicated structure in program language to match um, parentheses and properly formed isometric ex expression. So that's why we need the context-free uh, grammars. Uh, this is given by a final set of substitution rule involving. So uh, here are the rules. Uh, the final set B of variable that can be replaced. Uh, alphabet sigma of terminal symbol that cannot be replaced. Uh, on variable, usually S is called the start symbol. The rules involving Earth variable A are written as this, uh, where each WI is starting string of uh, variables and terminals. So, yes, context free grammar can uh, describe any kind of language, but we're not going to cover this in this class. Okay, let's move on to next step.